The Ford government believes a program that utilizes artificial intelligence could save doctors thousands of hours of work. And Tina Yazdani is standing by at Queen's Park. Tina, the province also announcing some changes to the rules around doctor's notes as well. Yeah, that's right, Faiza. A number of measures to help ease the administrative burden on family doctors who are spending something like 19 hours a week on paperwork that could instead be spent with patients. So today, the health minister out with a number of new measures. One of them uh, has to do with sick notes, in fact. So instead of having uh, to get a sick note from a doctor, they're going to encourage employers to use other tools like attestations that will still help maintain accountability when employees do request time off. So so the proposed change would prohibit employers from requiring sick notes and then in order for them to take their entitled three days of leave. They're also expanding the use of artificial intelligence to automatically transcribe patient-doctor conversations, which they say will speed up the process and result in more accurate records. Now, that, of course, has prompted some privacy concerns from opposition members here at Queen's Park, who also say the best way to relieve doctors of their administrative burden is to increase their funding so they can hire more staff to take over the paperwork. So here's some reaction from the health minister as well as opposition members. Our government is launching an innovative program called AI Scribe to provide for more than 150 primary care providers that safely uses artificial intelligence to automatically summarize or transcribe conversations with patients who consent into electronic medical notes. The devil is in the details and in the execution. I'm hearing words that that may respond to the needs that many of my colleagues and those of us in the physician committee are asking for. Uh, but we'll need to see how it actually plays out. So the new AI scribe, it's important to note, will only be used if patients give their consent. Now this has become obviously a huge problem for family doctors, some of which they've already closed their practices because they've been buried in this paperwork. And this is uh, already amid a huge shortage of family doctors. More than 2.2 million Ontarians are without one currently. That number is expected to double in the next couple of years. So the government is hoping that some of these new changes will help relieve that administrative burden. Keep doctors uh, working in their clinics and also have uh, allow them to have more time with their patients. Melanie and Faisal, I'll send it back to you. Let's hope this is part of the solution. Tina Yazdani reporting from Queen's Park. Thank you so much. Thank you.